Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, as we continue our series on the Task Manager, did you know that you can actually search online for a process that might look suspicious? As we are actually doing a series on, anti on uh, malware and, and the types of viruses and malware that's out there, of course one of the things that happens when you're infected, sometimes in the Task Manager you might wonder if a specific task is a known task? Is it normal that it's there running? Or is it something malicious maybe that's running? Well, what you do is, of course, you start your task manager as usual. And if anything in the processes look weird in what you uh, see, what you could do is, of course, search online. So you can look at the background processes or you can, once again, do like I did and uh, go into the more details to see all the specific um, executables that are going out there. And you might say, um, what is fundivorhost.exe, for example? Well, you can right click on it and you can go into search online. This is what it's going to do. It's going to open your browser and it's going to search for you. What's this? And you'll have the information. So what is this font DRV host.exe and why is it running? And you have the information. So you can check it out. You can click the, the link of the article. And it's going to tell you what the process does, why it's running. And it will tell you that, you know, possibly it's a normal. So here it says, it's a Windows system process, also known as user mode front driver host it's responsible for managing funds on your Windows system and so it tells you that this is a normal file that that it's okay that it's there and that there's no problem there so for example right now um, if you look at the processes uh, one of the things that I'm doing is of course using uh, the uh, OBS studio so you might be running let's let's just for the uh, heck of it right click this and say I don't know what that is well Let's search online to see what that's all about. OBS 64.exe, how to fix download and update. It says, it's, it, it tells you here it's um, it's a, um, a file for OBS Studio. It is a Win64 file, so it's really the OBS Studio app. It tells you. So if something looks suspicious, and you know maybe you're wondering i got something weird happening with my pc something's not right well then look at the processes and don't hesitate to look at what's in here and of course don't hesitate to also go into more details about what the processes are in here and if you see something suspicious you wonder what it is well you click right click on it and then of course once again search online so uh, very often this will point you where something's wrong. If there's a malware, for example, that would be running, if you have sus it's maybe you're suspicious because things are uh, bizarre on your PC, well, that might tell you, oh, well, that abc.exe, that's a malware. That's uh, this type of virus or so on. Now, don't be fooled. There are a lot of these that actually hide themselves. So they actually have a code that in the title of the app, what's going to happen in the task manager is they're going to actually um, paint itself white. So that means if you're using a white background like I am right now, and you have a code that tells the process to put the text in white, what's going to happen? Well, you won't see anything. So another thing that could be um, kind of interesting to look at is do you have empty spots do you have two for example two services that in between it there's a big empty white spot that also could be an interesting thing to look at because it could be something just trying to hide itself so you can actually search for a process and know what it is if you think something looks suspicious if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching